Plus one student, this is the new chapter of your syllabus, chemical bonding. First of all, you know what is chemical bond. We have already learned in class nine. It is a source of attraction between the two atoms, which holds the two atoms together. Why the atoms combine in order to attain stability or in order to uh, complete their octet or duplet. So, how many type of chemical bonds are there? One is covalent, another is electrovalent or ionic bond. First of all, we will dis discuss about the covalent bond. This is formed by the mutual sharing of electron. Ki kuch tum do aur kuch hum covalent bond kaise bante hai? It can be of many types. One means single bond, double bond, triple bond. Depending on the number of electrons shared. For example, hydrogen. It is having only one electron in one S orbital. So it will contribute one, another is contributed by the other hydrogen. So single bond is formed. You know oxygen is having eight electronic configuration, eight atomic number. So configuration two six. It is short of two electron. So it will sh uh, share two another uh, oxygen atom share two electron. So by the sharing of two electron, one bond is formed. So four electrons are shared. How many bonds? Two bonds. So this is an example of double bond. In this way, nitrogen is short of uh, three electrons. So triple bond is formed. Depending on the extent of overlapping, ki kitni overlapping hoti hai, covalent bonds can be divided into two types, sigma bond and pi bond. Sigma bond is formed by s orbital or pz orbital. Isme extent of overlapping jyada hai, along the internuclear axis hai, so this is stronger bond. But pi bond kaisa hai? Pi bond is right angle to the nuclear axis. So, isme extent of overlapping is very less. So, it can be formed by P, X or P, Y orbitals. For example, fluoride from time. So, it is weak bond. So, sigma bond is stronger because overlapping is more. This is weak bond. Now, we will discuss about the electrovalent bond or ionic bond. For example, sodium chloride. Sodium is having 11 atomic number. So, 2, 8, 1. Jo shells filled hai, unho ne apne electron contribute nahi karne bonding ke liye. So, only one electron will be contributed. So, it is not possible to gain 7 electrons. So it's better to lose 1 electron. So like chlorine will find out. Karega. Chlorine is having 7 electrons. Automatic. It is really in need of 1 electron. So this electron will be shifted to this. Totally transferred to that. So as many electrons it transfer, it has the electrovalency. So it has 1 positive and it has 1 negative. So as a result of positive negative interaction, the bond will be formed by the attraction of these. Uh, electron plus, plus or minus they will stay together this is ionic bond or electrolyte bond uh, likewise you can see the example of magnesium chloride so it's two electrons hai, so it is need of two chlorine that's why the formula is MgCl2 now we'll discuss little bit about the properties of these compounds or bonds it is formed by mutual sharing it is formed by transference they are having low melting point of boiling point because it is not positive or negative it is not positive or negative hai, charges are there, these are polar that's why they are having high melting point and boiling point you know like dissolves like that's why because these are polar they are soluble in polar solvent like water and these are non-polar that's why they are soluble in organic solvents that's all for today